Backseat Coaches presents WWE Bracket S. Should we get straight into names? Let's do it. Um, I've got two. Okay. Two for you. Yeah. Um, they're really well thought of. Uh, <laughs> it's not like you just thought about literally five minutes before the podcast, is it? Oh, <laughs> not at all. No one can make that accusation. There, there is a theme. Okay. Is the, it late last minute? Is that the theme? It, it's not things right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> you can be the dirty microphone. You can be... That sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry... <laughs> Cherry Breakwell. <laughs> okay, that's good. I do like a Cherry Breakwell. Or the Jam Duff Nut. <laughs> what does that mean? You know, like... Like duffing someone up? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll be the Cherry Breakwell, I think. Yeah, I'll I like that. Be. That's good. I'm pleased with that one. <laughs> I've gone for a historical theme. Oh, we is it? On this year. Uh, this year? This Henry week. VIII? Or... <laughs> <laughs> Henry the Great, no. Um, your first one is... Ropes Pierre, he's a French dandy who loves high flying moves like climbing the top. Oh, I see, very good. Yeah, mm. see, you can be the Tutankhamun monster, does the Egyptian walk but pokes people in the eye, and, and toots his car horn, <laughs> toots his car moon all over the place. <laughs> or you can be George Washington Turnbuckle, who gets to carry an axe in the ring. Well, he's going to win. Yeah. But I like Ropes Pierre. Yeah, it's a good Rolls one. Rolls off it? the tongue. That's a good one. Okay, <laughs> go on then, Ropes Pierre. What have you got for me this week? So, this week, Cherry. <laughs> <laughs> I insist upon you referring to me that all week now. <laughs> um, it's it's not a new sport. It's something we all know and love, but with a slight twist. Mm, I like the sound of this one. This is uh, comes from Borton on the Water in Gloucestershire, England. Ooh, close to home. Played on the August Bank Holiday Monday. Mm. Six v six football match in the river, the <laughs> River Windrush. <laughs> okay, this has been played for more than a hundred years. Really, and apparently started when a couple of blokes were bored. So. They had a kickabout in the river, and <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> They've done it every year They've ever, it ever since. since. <laughs> People have gotten bored every year since then. So the the pitch is fifty yards long and nine yards wide. Okay, so it's nine yards. So that's the width of the river. So yeah. you're flowing up and downstream. Yeah, that's going to be a big advantage going up and downstream. Oh, they change at half time. Yeah. So um, surely kicking up streams is going to be difficult. Like, <laughs> how big is the river? How deep is it? So it is uh, reaches just above the ankles. Typically, it reaches uh, just above the ankles. Okay, it's not like it's not like the Nile or something. Yeah. <laughs> they're not wading through. <laughs> okay, um, but obviously, kicking th- through the water is quite hard. Yeah. So long throw-ins are. Apparently, oh, the, the big tactic. I see. After a hundred years, they've developed some tactics. Yeah, it's it's the only time that players will step out of the water. To, uh, to go is and for, get it is for a throw-in. Yeah. Um. So I guess you want to like play for throw-ins. Yeah, you want to maximise you, that time. Yeah, rather than like it. corners or something. Yeah. Um. Fifteen minutes per half, so it's only thirty-minute game. Well, you'd need it to be short though, because it's going to take a lot of energy yeah. isn't it, running through water like that. Uh. Yeah. A good technique is the flick and volley. So to flick it, flick up, it up out. out. Or what, and do like a bicycle kick? No way, no. <laughs> you don't want to be doing that. You've landed on stones. That'd or be bad. Or scorpion kick. <laughs> scorpion kick, yeah. Oh, but yeah. like headers and volleys, essentially. Yeah. Is what you need to be yeah, playing. Yeah, definitely. So it's currently... Is it rocky? Is like the basin of the river rocky? Yeah. So th- they wear... Generally, people don't go barefoot. Yeah. They wear like, I don't know. Football boots. <laughs> oh, well, of course. <laughs> And shin pads. You're all over the shop. <laughs> shin pads. You need shin pads. Absolutely. And arm pads and elbow pads when you fall over. There, there is a referee to keep some sort of semblance okay. of <laughs> of football. <laughs> as much so as in real football. Um is currently contested by the Borton firsts versus the Borton reserves. Ooh. So there's quite a lot at stake. Yeah. You get a place in the first team if you win. Yeah, the sure, well, if if the you reserves switch win, switch the two teams around, eh? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're the first for next year. Fuck you, because <laughs> we can play in the river, in water. <laughs> so, next August Bank Holiday Monday, I think we should go down to Borton on the Water for a game of six on six football. It's a date. 
Backseat Coaches presents WWE. Bracket S.